Good afternoon. We are joined today by Dr. Emily Dar. She is the Assistant Professor of Orthopedics at the Medical University of South Carolina. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. Today we're going to talk about some of the issues in the auto glass industry relating to back and spine injuries uh, in the workplace. Right. So what are some of the things that technicians can do to help avoid injury to say the lower back or the spine in general? Right. Well, you know, given the nature of the business and what they're doing with the automotive industry and installing, you know, heavy windshields, for instance, you know, that puts a lot of pressure on the spine. Right. So a lot of this comes down to preventative uh, medicine, you know, making sure that you have a strong uh, back to start with, but really keeping in mind that when you're bending and twisting to bend and twist at the waist and at the knees rather than at the back and putting extra pressure on it. Right. And I think that's probably one of the biggest issues. It's just the, the awkward positions that you're in. Um, what are uh, some of the things that I've noticed recently are people are not wearing back braces. Is that kind of a fad that's disappeared or? Yeah, I guess you could say that, you know, it used to be that you go in the home improvement store and everybody's wearing a back brace, right? right. Um, so a lot of the old research showed that that was an extra support. And so they wore that as a preventative measure. And then we kind of found that the more you wore those, people sort of depended on them and it actually can weaken those uh, those muscles around your back. So right. it actually hurts you in the long run because you become dependent on it. Right. Now, if someone is experiencing like some acute back pain, are there any over-the-counter medications that are better than others? Yeah. Um, you know, check all of this out with your primary doctor before you start anything. But, you know, as long as you don't have any other medical problems, then over-the-counter Advil or Aleve are the brand names for the anti-inflammatories or just good old-fashioned Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, is good as well. Right. And probably uh, one of the more important things that I learned speaking with you earlier lifestyle. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that and how that plays a role in maintaining a healthy smile. Right. Well, you know, a lot of these uh, young professionals come with back aches and you think, you know, you're young, you shouldn't be having an achy back. You know, the first thing I ask them is if they're a smoker, for instance. You know, nobody thinks about the fact that smoking cigarettes especially can actually deteriorate your back faster and can impede healing. I never, I never knew that. That was the most interesting thing when we were talking earlier that so smoking, that yeah. would be your number one as far as lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. If there's no other good reason, which there's plenty to stop smoking, you know, preventing for future back injury and degeneration is a big reason to stop smoking. Wow. And uh, <laughs> something that I deal with and most guys deal with is the stomach area and the weight gain, uh, which is, it's so easy to fall into uh, in this industry because you're constantly on the go. So it's right. fast food every day for lunch and probably breakfast. And yeah, um, it you know it's tough. You know we get, we as physicians have a busy lifestyle too, and it's so easy to grab something quick. But you know those calories add up, and the older you get, the harder it is to get it off, as you know. Right. Um, but every little extra pound that you're carrying on the front, especially, is pulling down on that spine, and it's extra pressure on your spine, the little joints in your spine. So keeping a nice trim belly, but a strong belly too, you know, our right. core, everybody talks right. about the core. Right. Keeping that core strong and any extra weight off. And of course, getting some cardiovascular exercise too, because you're working all day in the hot uh, sun, you're sweating, you're putting up windshields, but you're not getting your heart going enough. You need some exercise also. Right, right. So maybe uh, people should start jogging around the vehicle. And the yeah, water. there you go. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about, so if someone, uh, already has issues, are there any new procedures that are kind of cutting edge that are coming out or are currently out? You know, they've, they've gotten great at surgical procedures, you know, not that I'm signing people up for surgery for chronic back problems. You want to avoid any type of procedure if you can. Right. Um, cutting edge, you know, there's, there's lots of biologics out on the market, so people keep asking me, you know, can I get some PRP, plasma, plasma rich protein injected into my back? Mm -hmm. We're not quite there yet. Um, we can't regrow cartilage yet. Um, there are some neat procedures where you can go in and burn the nerves in your spine, but you know, you're talking about things that we do typically in people in their retirement phase right, um, right. that have achy backs. But you know, if you're young and replacing windshields, you shouldn't be worried about those procedures, but they're out there. Right, right. I think that's uh, another issue is a lot of people get into the industry when they're young and they're invincible and yep. they're 
smoking the cigarettes or eating the fast food and then yeah. you know long term this is definitely something that people will run into especially uh, i know for me when i had my early 30s uh, i was you know at that time about 12 years into it and what i thought was just the don't don't laugh getting older mm -hmm. at you know 30 or 32 years old at that time uh turned out to be you know some issues that and complications from this you know profession right uh, was just not being looked at and that probably could have been prevented if you had this information absolutely yeah. absolutely. absolutely well thank you so much for You're taking welcome. time out of your busy schedule maybe we'll uh, get you back in here at some point for yeah. a follow-up and uh Get some more questions for you. I would love to. Thanks. All right. Thank you.